a new second note and perhaps final on one flow of the cuckoo's nest. Final um, because um, although a very interesting uh, story, um, this one somehow made me enjoy better the version for the big screen. Uh, much of that on account of Binoche Forman and the fabulous Jack Nicholson at that time in the bucket list and some of the things he has done uh, over the past, I don't know, 10 years, um, minus the last 3, 4 when he hasn't been in movies, in the movies at all, uh, have not been up to the usual standard. Uh, in fact, for some time he was the best in the world for me with uh, Giorgio Constantini. Someone you don't know, but there it is. Uh, so, there's the big screen version, abridged and altered, uh, necessarily, uh, and the book. To this I add the latest encounter, which was in the form of a play. I understand the, it, apart from this BBC version that I had the chance to listen to, there was a Broadway adaptation in which um, uh, Kurt Douglas play once upon a time. So, in the book, the characters are more elaborate, and um, as I've mentioned in the previous note, McMurphy, Randall McMurphy, doesn't come across, for this reader at least, as a wonderful hero. In fact, um, his dark side is much more accentuated. We, that can be for the better. One tends to enjoy a complex uh, um, personage, not... It's boring for some to have to read about Superman, Batman, and all these uh, Ant-Man, Captain America, all these superheroes who have supreme powers, so to say, and do only good for everybody. Uh, this may just go to show how little I know, because perhaps they're doing things differently, but from my uh, contact with these uh, cartoon stories, I, that's the thing I have. Um, but McMurphy, especially in this late, latest rendition for the BBC, didn't really appeal to me, and uh, that's, that's, that was affecting the whole uh, account. Uh, then there's the, the character of um, the chief, and um, in the book I think I remember I empathized with him and I liked him, if I wasn't really fascinated by, uh, by the man. Um, However, there is a feeling that something's wrong. I, I, I don't buy what I recall and what I had probably mixed up in my head from the film, from the book, from the, uh, the play. Plus, and perhaps more important, what my imagination makes of this all and my additions and inventions in my head, which have very little, if anything, to do with the story. So, um, um, I, I was thinking, well, he, he, he says he doesn't, he doesn't um, speak, he doesn't uh, hear deaf, deaf and dumb, deaf and dumb, as they were saying in the, in the, film, in the play. Um, what, what good is this to him and why is he doing that? Of course, there are reasons, some of which I've lost, and uh, I understand he's withdrawn in his world, and then again we have this thing that the, 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 the message is powerful, the message of the book is powerful, it's just that some readers, this one, are losing, uh, losing it, large parts of it, most of it, 
and they just concentrate on things they like and don't like. But then again, that's this is a subjective note. That's just an ordinary reader and his thoughts about one thing or another. It's not. This is not. <laughs> this is not the Oxford or whatever the, the ultimate critical critical assessment. It's just some guy saying some things about uh, books. <laughs>